Finbar Cork loved Star Wars, even the baddies. When he wasn't dressing up as Darth Vader, he was building Millennium Falcons. That's why when he died from a brain tumour in August, aged just five, his funeral was full of superheroes, his friends and family dressing as he would have wanted. And that's also why months after his death, he has a new charity named after him, Finbar's Force. From an early point after Finbar died, I felt that I needed to do something to keep his name alive. I needed to do something to make something positive happen. I feel like it's something that we have to do, and it's something that I've wanted to do. I want to keep him alive through it. In life, Finbar's bravery inspired a whole community, from fundraising events to charity challenges. And even after he died, support continued to flood in. A group of paramedics cycling at the Finbar 500 from Cork to the family home in Heatherset. In September, on what would have been his sixth birthday, Norwich City paid tribute to the youngster, with Cameron Jerome donating his shirt and his celebration. Now the family want to use all that support and the thousands that have been raised to try and fund more research into brain tumours and to help others put in the same heartbreaking situation that they found themselves in. It's certainly an eye-opener to see how many people want to help. I think it's very easy through life to go around and not realise some of the good people that are in the world and some of the good that can happen when these people get together. I'd like to make a really big difference. I'd like to see us bring about changes uh, in the way things are done. I'd like to see us you know, make a big impact in the way that families go through this kind of kind of journey. Now a registered charity, more and more people are coming forward wanting to raise money in Finbar's name. An Oscars themed summer ball is planned in Borbra and on Thursday a group of Norfolk schools will be ditching uniforms for Star Wars costumes for a day they're calling May the 4th be with you. In one respect it makes me more sad because I wish that he was here to take part in them. You know, I just I know he would have loved some of the things that we've we've done and some of the things that we're going to do um but I, th- I think he was a kind of boy that you know he he was a very sensible little boy a very caring little boy and this this would be this would be what he wanted i i know i know that from knowing him that he he would have wanted us to do this the pain is still very raw for finbar's parents tristan and claire for a long time when their little boy was ill they felt powerless now they say that at least they found something which could really make a difference. Rob Satchel, Mustard TV, Heatherset.